Okay, this is a tutorial on how to fix networking for your VMware player. Um, I'm using VMware player here, and I noticed that in the virtual machine, if you go to network adapter and you go to settings for your network adapter, you should have some choices here. You should be able to, with your network adapter on your VM, on your virtual machine, and it doesn't matter whether your virtual machine is Ubuntu, Linux, Windows, whatever, um, you should be able to set up a bridged connection where your NIC on your virtual machine picks up an IP address just like, let's say, your wireless NIC would on your laptop. So if your wireless NIC picks up a 192.168.1.100 address, well then your bridged NIC should, if it's working, also pick up a 192.168.1. let's say 101 address. So your computer, your laptop would be 100, and then your virtual machine would be 101, right? So if it's working, that would be the way to do it. And if you click on replicate physical network connection state, then on your wireless laptop, as you change, let's say, from hotspot to hotspot, your NIC will actually change as well. I mean, or it'll reinitiate and give you a new IP address, supposedly, something like that. And then NAT is the typical one that's used most of the time. NAT basically uh, basically shares the IP address on your host machine. So if your laptop has a 192.168.1.100 address, then there's going to be a NAT that's going to happen um, behind the scenes, and your virtual machine will have an IP address that is NATed to your um, laptop address. And um, and then I'm not even really going to talk about um, host only. Um, so, but the main two things here, let's say bridged and NAT. What I've noticed is I couldn't get the bridged to work. I try to use bridged and, you know, I, I've used it before, let's say on VirtualBox and other things, and just could not get this to work. So I was wondering why it couldn't work, and I did not find very good information anywhere. Well, it turns out that this was not easy to figure out. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how I figured out how to get this thing to work. So first of all, I'm going to go to my network and sharing center and show you network connections here. And if you go to your network connections, you'll see that VMware has VMNet1 and there's VMNet8. And there's actually one that is shared with your NIC. That's VMware Net VMNet0, but you won't see VMNet0. VMNet0 is the one that's supposed to work with bridge networking. And I believe VMNet8 is the one that works with NAT, and then VMNet1 is the one that works with uh, host only. So anyway, the question was why is not why is VMNet0 not working and I can't pick up an IP address? That was my question. Why isn't this thing working? Well, it turns out if you have multiple NICs, right, and you can see in, in this case I have virtual NICs too. I've got my regular Ethernet port. I've got a wireless Ethernet port. I've got a sonic wall virtual port. I've got a virtual box virtual port, you know, so on and so forth. If you've got multiple, um, let's say, NICs, virtual or otherwise, then the VMware player and VMNet0 can get confused and it auto-chooses whatever um, NIC it needs, and it'll auto-choose the wrong NIC, essentially. Well, how do you fix that? Well, to fix that, you need to use a utility, and I'll show you this utility. Okay, and this utility that you need is in your program files folder, which is in your C drive, and then you're going to go into your VMware program, and then I'm going to go into VMware player, and this, this utility that you need is VMNet CFG or vmnetconfig.exe and the thing is when you install VMware player this is not installed okay so you're gonna have to basically get this and then put it into this folder and I'll show you what it looks like I'm gonna run it right now okay and here it is and with this is how you can fix your bridge network connection you can see here that finally I can see vmnet0 there's VMNet1 for host only, there's VMNet8 for NAT, and what you can do is you can highlight your VMNet0 and then tell it exactly which NIC you want it to use. So I tell it here I want it to use my actual LAN port, or I could say no, I want, you to, I want it to use my wireless port, or whatever, and then click apply, 
and then you'll find when you restart your um, you restart your your uh, VMware player and launch your VM, it'll work. Okay, so this is a huge. This I hope this saves people a lot of time. You know, I, I worked on this for hours to figure this out. So anyway, this is it. VM net zero. I uh, select it right here. I say bridged, right? Not NAT. I make it a bridge connection and I choose my NIC here and hit apply and everything will work well. So then the next question is, well, how do you get this file right here? And that's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, to get that file that you need, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you on my C drive here, what you're going to need is your original installer file. Here's the original installer for VMware Player 4.0. You can see it's a .exe file. This is the, the installation um, program that installs VMware Player. And what you're going to do is you're going to extract it into a folder like this. And then in this folder, you can go down and you can find it in the folder. There it is, vmnetcfg.exe, right? So how do you do that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a command prompt. You can see it here. And then I'm going to change directory into a folder where I have that located. OK, there I have it. DIR. There's the installer file right there, .exe. And what you're going to do is you're going to run this command right here. You're going to launch it, VMware player, right, .exe, then uh, forward slash E space extract. And if you do that, it'll run the extraction and it'll extract the folder like this. And then you'll, you'll be left with an extract folder and then you'll be able to go into this folder and find the vmnetconfig.exe. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on, click on this, copy it, right? So you copy this file right and then what you're going to want to do is paste it in the program folder so there's the vmware folder program files vmware and then um, open up the vmware player and then paste it right in here and you'll be all good and then you can run it and you can fix your bridge network connection on your vm